Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, uh, more or less because I need to tell you that um, tonight I will I'll be as a listener because our co-workers got sick and due to this situation I had to replace him and that's why uh, tonight I will be as a listener. All right. I understand. Thanks for informing, Elise. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you for being on time. I can see only one with the camera on and the other ones. I want to see you guys. Come on. Let's see. How are you, Sufrido? Pretty tired. It was a long day, but I'm fine. Yeah, I imagine that. And who else? Who else? I can see some people, but some people are listeners. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can see Carlos Mauricio. Hello, Carlos. You there? Yes, teacher. I'm here. How are you? Or oh, present. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. How do you feel today? Uh, a little bit tired. Uh, it was a long time. And in my job, I had to do new reports. Oh. And tomorrow we'll start a new new account. So it's a pretty busy now. Yeah, I imagine that. Well, but it's night already. So in some moment, you will be able to rest. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Boris. How are you? Hi, I am driving for for a moment. Ah, okay. I am listening. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Be careful. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I can see Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hi. How do you feel? A little bit tired, also like the other school uh, partners. I think uh, the schedule is really hard. Yeah, definitely. But look at the bright but, side. But, yes, but we want to learn. That's true. And guys, I know that the effort that you are doing is it's huge, right? So um, let's try to be very active in the class. If you are active, if you are participating, so you will feel that the time is shorter, right? If you don't talk, if you are just listening, like no participation, you will feel that the class is longer, right? So I have prepared some practices. As always, we are going to have a lot of speaking, so you can be active in the class. It's Tuesday, so... Almost Friday, guys. Look at the bright side, all right? No, teacher, but but <laughs> you 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 make the class uh, a little bit easier because before I was in another class in this uh, schedule also, mm -hmm. but the teacher was was different. Ah, okay. It was well, very difficult. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I can help you guys. And I know that it's difficult to schedule. Believe me, it is difficult for everyone. So that's why I try. I try to have some, you know, activities to keep you up. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but always, guys, I appreciate if you participate. Okay. The more you practice, first, you will learn more. And of course, as I mentioned, you will feel that the class is shorter, okay? So, uh, let's see, what's the weather like in your city? Is it fresh, at least? Yes? No? Yes, in this moment here, uh, the wind is a little bit hard, but uh, the raining, I don't think so. Uh, will start now, but <laughs> I hope so in the night, maybe. Maybe, yeah. You know, in my city, it was raining just like some minutes ago. So finally, it's fresh. <laughs> so that is something positive too. 
How about you guys? Did it rain in your city or is it a little fresh? Um, all day long. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. And the rest of you? Not yet. Uh, basically, it's still hot and the raining is only a dream here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe later. I mean, I think that during the night, I don't know in your cities, but maybe during the night in some cities has been raining a lot. So maybe, guys, let's keep faith. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, let's start with today's class. What was the topic that we studied yesterday? Do you remember? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, so you don't remember. <laughs> let's have let's have an exam. Second part of report the speech and a quiz and some cases of the report the speech. Ah, uh -huh. very good, very good. So we were starting and practicing the reported speech. Remember that yesterday we talked about some tips if you want to buy or purchase online. All right, and uh, we have some readings. Do you remember the article that we read yesterday? Mm, about Alibaba. That Allah, is the one. Exactly. Excellent. Do you remember how was the score? Uh huh. In the reading comprehension, Four. the score in the little reading comprehension. It wasn't an oh. exam. It was like four questions. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Was it good? Yes. Yes. Mm. I was checking the scores. Actually, some of them were pretty good. Some of them, mm, no, fifty fifty, right? But no worries. I'm not going to say names. <laughs> <laughs> now, look at this one. Um, we are going to start, guys. But before starting, um, well, let me start sharing the presentation. And then I'm going to share something else. Let's see. Let's see. OK, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay, everybody. So today is August 15th. And remember that right now we are in the unit number one. Okay. So the idea is that if we are working in the unit number one, you have to be working on the platform in the unit number one. Okay. So right now, if you see... I'm going to share with you the progress on the platform. Um, I have some people that they have been working a lot, but some others, guys, we need to start working. Uh, Amanda has 80%, so that's a good progress. Ana Lorena already finished the unit number one, so that's great. Um, Carlos Ernesto already finished the unit number one, too. Pretty good job. Then we have uh, Carlos Mauricio and Edwin. Uh, they have 80% in the progress. That's good, that's good. Um, Eulice Torres with 52, so far so good. Salvador with 96. Basically, it's just a little bit more and you will be 100%. Josman Atilio, a little bit low, but it has some progress, 20%. Kevin Alexander, already finished the unit number one. Very good job. And let's see who else, who else? Pamela, 80%. That's a good progress, too. I have Ricardo Ernesto and Cifrido with 40%. That's some progress. And Wilbur, 100% already done with the unit number one. Very good job. So the idea, guys, is that you can cover one unit per week. Okay, that's the idea. So in this case, remember that we started last Wednesday. So by today, you must have finished the platform, right? I mean, the unit number one. And few people have finished, 
Okay, so please everyone, I want to encourage you to work on the platform. I know that the schedule is difficult. I know that you have a lot of things to do. So, but try to take a, at least five minutes every day. Um, if you go to the platform, if you pay attention in the unit number one, basically guys, in the unit number five, uh, number one, I'm sorry, we have few exercises. Remember that the videos, I mean, it's not necessary to watch the videos if you were here in the class, because the videos that appear here is basically the recording of our class, okay? So if you were here in the class, it's not necessary to watch the videos. So you just need to complete the exercise. In this case, if you see, we have one, uh, let's see, well, let's go from the beginning. We got one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's see, well, I think only these ones, basically, there are not so many exercises in the unit number one. So my recommendation is take guys at least five minutes every day, try to complete some exercises and try to advance. Okay, remember that the platform is not optional, it's an obligation, okay? That's your score. If you don't finish the platform, you are not going to go to the next level. Got it? Yes? Any questions so far about the platform? No. No? Okay, so I want to see progress, okay? I want to see a good progress, please. All right. Now, let's start with the topic that we have for today. Today, guys, we have a lot of practice, so be ready to participate. Now, we are going to talk, look at this one. We are going to report tips for successful online businesses. Yesterday, we talked about the tips for people who wants to purchase online. Well, today we are going to provide tips, but not to buy online, but to have an online business. Okay, so let's start thinking guys about some tips for a successful online business, okay? Now this is our class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. At the end of the class, participants will learn how to describe tips for successful online business business using reported speech with imperatives. Thank you. So, guys, look at this one. We already started to describe or to report the speech for affirmative or negative sentences. So now we are going to practice how we can report, but the imperatives. If you don't remember what imperatives is, don't worry because I'm going to explain that. But before that, guys, we are going to have a review about the topics that we practiced yesterday. We are going to have some activities about the vocabulary. And before starting, let me check attendance. So when you listen to your name, Stay present. Um, let's see, Amanda Zamora. Okay. Present. Present. Oh, yes, I know that you're a listener. I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, that's the problem. I'm sick. All right. Um, Ana Lorena. Ana Lorena. Okay. Uh, Boris Alexander. Okay. Um, let's see, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Okay, I think he's listening to Carlos Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio. 
present. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Okay. Eulise Torres. Oh, he's listening. I'm sorry. Irma Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Um, Jose Salvador. Um, present, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, Kevin Alexander. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Kevin Alfredo. Okay, Maria Jose. Okay, Nelson Alberto. Well, I think he's listening. Kevin, Kevin Lucero. Ah, okay, thank yeah. you, Kevin. My Wi Fi uh, has a problem. It's okay. Uh, All right, no worries, no worries. Um, Oscar Alexis. Very good. Um, let's see, Osman Enrique. Um, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto. I'm a listener. Oh, yes. Sorry. Thank you. Sifrido Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alfredo. Alberto, I'm sorry. Wilber. And Andrea Jamilet. Present. Very good. Okay. Thank you, guys. Now let's continue. Let's have. Sorry, teacher. I'm here. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Thank you, Elias. No worries. <laughs> Okay, pretty good. Now, yesterday we have uh, some reading practice. So I hope that you remember the reading. According to the reading that we had, I think that we are able to answer the previous questions. Now, have you ever heard about a website named Alibaba? Yes, yesterday. <laughs> ah, no, you know what Alibaba is. What is that? What is the website about? What type uh, of product or services do they sell? Any type. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Any other idea? It's a platform to sell and buy things. Okay, pretty good. And do you remember, guys, who's the founder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember mm -hmm. that uh, the last name was Ma. Ah, okay. That's something. That's something. And do you know, guys, anyone who has shopped at Alibaba? Some of your friends, maybe? No. Okay. Do you know any business tip from the founder? Or you don't remember? Hmm. Okay, now we are going to read the article again because we are going to study some vocabulary, all right? And please, I want you guys to pay a lot of attention, okay? So this, well, this was the reading comprehension. Again, yesterday, some people had very good score in the reading comprehension. Some others, the score was a little bit low. So everybody, remember, we need to practice all the areas. Speaking is important, yes, but also we need to try to understand what we are reading, okay? So before reading the article again, I want you guys to keep in mind this vocabulary and try to find these words in the article. International trade, Tech hub, unprofitable, commission fee. Okay, we need to try to find out those words. So keep in mind only those four concepts. Okay, and we are going yeah. to find those words in the article and let's try to find out what the meaning is. Okay, now let me open up the article again. And as 
yesterday, I will need some volunteers for reading again. So I need volunteers. Who wants me to start teacher. reading? Who say me? Elias? Yes. Okay, go ahead. You can read the first article and Sifrido, you will continue with the second article. Thank you. Go ahead. In um 1919, after leaving a government job, Jackma grouped uh, 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for a small and medium enterprise based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, May tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. The tech hub in the United States and was met with denials. And his business model was crit criticized to be unprofitable and insustainable by many at the time. Okay, in let's stop. Let's stop there. Let's stop there. Okay, look at this one. First of all, what is the pronunciation of this year? 1999. 1999. That is the one. 1999. Okay. The first concept is over here. International trade. According to this paragraph, what comes to your mind, guys? What is the meaning for international trade? What, what ideas comes to your mind? Um, exchange products. Commerce. Okay. And if I say the international? Mm, Outside the country. Ah, very good. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Then we have another concept here, tech hub. So it says that this man, Ma, Jack Ma, he tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the tech hub in the United States. So, what comes to your mind when you listen to this mm -hmm. concept, Tech Hub? Um, an area where there are many um, technology businesses. Ah, okay. Do you agree, everyone? Or do you have another idea? Okay, pay attention to those, those it's concepts. A, uh -huh. uh, it's a... a Technical center, center, technical ah, center. Okay, and sounds good. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Now, let's pay attention. We are going to use those concepts later. Okay, Sifrido, continue reading, please. Okay, in 2023, a still unprofitable with Alibaba, uh, and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Thank you. Very good. Then what happens? Another volunteer, please, to continue reading the next paragraph. Um, determined to win, Taobao remain a commission-free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy. Ma and his began offering value-add support services, example, custom web page to online merchants for a small fees. Thank you. Very good. And someone else, please. For reading the last one. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew from China, Alibaba, uh, 14 year, 15 years old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States is now one of the world's largest companies as measured by its market capitaliz capitalization, approximately uh, 200 billion. A lot of money, right? Now, again, in these three 
paragraph, we have some vocabulary. Again, the first one, unprofitable. Hmm, what do you think? What comes to your mind when we see the word unprofitable? Uh, lose money. Lose money, okay. What else? Another one? Mm, can recover oh, the cost of operations. Okay. It's not a successful, successful uh, business. Mm, sounds good, sounds good. And then look at this one. It says commission free. Hmm. What comes to your they, mind? They are not charging anyone for using their services or their web with their web page. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Do you agree or do you have another idea? I agree with Kevin. You agree? Okay. Now, let's see if you paid attention to the concept. I have here again the concept here and the different meanings. You have to look here, guys, what is the correct meaning? For example, we have international trade. Mm, I have two definitions. The first definition says that is the exchange of capital, goods, and services across international borders or territories, like international territories. And the second concept says the exchange of domestic goods, but within the boundaries of a country. So hmm, which one is the correct definition for international trade? What do you think? The first one. The first one. The first one, are you sure? Yes. Totally, that is the one. Remember, international, that means out of the borders. For example, here in El Salvador, you can have a business with international trade. That means that you can exchange the product with other countries, okay? Pretty good. Then we have Tech Hub. Hmm, what do you think? What is the correct concept for Tech Hub? Any idea? Mm -hmm. The second one. <laughs> I agree with Kevin. A community that promotes innovations for technology startup companies. Are you sure? Yes. And the rest of you guys, what do you think? Uh huh. The second, a community. Okay. And uh -huh. actually, yes, that's the one. So when we are talking about Tech Hub, it's basically a community, right? Mm -hmm. That the idea of their purpose is to innovate, is to promote more technology to the companies that are starting. Then we have Unprofitable. Hmm, what do you think, guys? What is the correct concept for unprofitable? The, the first one. The first one? The can, first you, can you read it, please? A business not yielding profit of financial gain. All right. Do you agree, guys? Yes. I yes. agree. Yes. Totally, right? Thank you. Would you like to have an unprofitable business? No. No, no, right? No. Never. Absolutely not. An, a profitable business is not generating money. No. You are just losing. No. <laughs> Very good. And the last one, commission fee. What is the correct concept for this one? A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services. All the right. Do you agree, everyone, or do you have any other idea? For me, a remuneration or protocol. Okay. So we have two ideas. A form of payment a company chooses not to charge for its services or a remuneration for services provided 
or products sold? Everybody, what do you think? The first um, I think the first one. The first one? Are you first. sure? Yes. Yes, the first one. And the correct answer is the first one. Definitely. Very good. Is it clear, guys, the concept of these words? Yes. 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 For All today, right. yes. <laughs> For today, but during the exam, <laughs> we forgot, my goodness. Now, please keep it in mind. Remember, guys, that some of the exercises that we have here in the class, it can appear on the platform, okay? So be careful with that. Now, because you said that the concept is clear, all right, we already practiced reading, so it's time to practice writing. I want to see, guys, your spelling. I want to see that you write correctly. So in this moment, I want you guys to pick three, okay? Only three words from the previous exercise. And I want you to uh, basically, guys, just write a sentence using one of them. For example, if you want, you can use international trade. Okay, write a sentence using international trade. The sentence can be in simple present, in future, in past, or you can use the reported speech. That is extra credit. We are intermediate five, so please try to give me interesting sentences with correct spelling. Don't forget to include, guys, capital letters at the end, please. And you have to write a sentences in one message and send it on WhatsApp's group. But as in the previous activity that we had in the written activities, don't send it one by one, okay? So write the three sentences in only one message and send the message. But guys, don't forget to add your full name. Okay, when you add your full name, I, I know that the sentences are yours. Is it clear, the activity, everybody? Yes. Yes? Pretty good. Yes, Did you copy the vocabulary? Yes? No, can you put it again, please? Thank you. Sure. There it is. So remember, you have to pick three, only three, and write three sentences. Try to write interesting sentences. You can use the grammar tense that you prefer. Don't forget to add your full names, please, so I can know that the sentences are yours. If you have a question, just let me know, please. If you have questions, just let me know. Don't forget to add your full names.
if you have a question, just let me know, please. Try to write interesting sentences. Remember the guys, <clears throat> in this case, if we are talking about international trade, tech hub, commission free. So those ones are nouns, unprofitable. So try to write coherent sentences. Complete the sentences. <clears throat> I can see some of your classmates already sent the sentences. Very good. I will be reading the sentences. If I find some details, I will let you know. Interesting sentences, so far so good guys. The ones that already sent it, I liked it. Right, complete their sentences, send it please.
two more minutes for the one who hasn't sent their sentences. You have two more minutes. Send the sentences, one more minute. I'm reading the sentences, guys, that you just sent. And if I find some mistakes or details, I will resend the feedback, okay? But I can see very interesting sentences. I like that. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, I will continue reading the sentences at the end of the class. And as always, guys, if I find some little mistakes, I will resend the feedback. To some of your classmates, I already sent some observations, right? So read the feedbacks if you have one. So try to improve in the details, okay? Those little spellings mistakes are the ones that we need to try to omit okay easy or difficult writing exercise what do you think uh-huh easy so 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 okay what is easier for you writing or speaking uh-huh writing speaking Speaking is easier. Okay. And for you? Guys? Okay. Uh huh. And for you? Which one is easier, writing or speaking? Listening, teacher. Listening. Thinking. Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. All right. So. The idea, guys, is that in all the classes, we can practice all the areas, right? Not only speaking, but also writing, reading, listening, okay? So if you feel that writing is difficult, well, that's the skill that you need to practice more. If you feel that speaking is difficult, okay, let's practice speaking, all right? But let's keep practicing. All right, if you haven't sent uh, the sentences, please hurry up and try to send it. At the end of the class, I'm going to continue reading them. Don't worry. But now we need to move on, okay? I'm going to start sharing the presentation again. Can you see it? Yes? Yes. yes. Excellent. Okay, so now, guys, we are going to talk about tips for successful online businesses, okay? So we are going to use always reported speech. So right now we are going to report imperatives. But first we need to learn what imperative is. For example, look at this picture. What is the meaning of this picture? Not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. Ah, okay. Let's find it out. Yeah. What is the best option? No run, don't running, or don't run? B. Letter B? Um, for me, it's C. Letter C. C? My opinion is C, teacher. Letter C? Let's yeah. see. 
And yes, that's the one. Remember, guys, that if we want to say negative sentences, we use the auxiliary. Pretty good. Where? Where can we find this symbol? Negative. Mm -hmm. In which places can you see the symbol that says don't run? At the hospitals. At the at the hospital, the at the airport, in the school, at the airport. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Is Imagine that you are at the airport and it says, don't run. Is that some advice? Is that optional? Is a favor or is an order? It's an order. An order. Ah, very good. So do you need to obey the order, yes or no? Yes. Yes, definitely. All right, next one. What is this? Do homework. Do, do your homework. homework. Do your homework or don't do your homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. Better be. <laughs> do your homework do your homework that is something guys that i will always say right hey do your homework work on the platform now i don't if... remember here <laughs> <laughs> come on pointless <laughs> in this sentence guys is in affirmative or in negative affirmative it's affirmative, affirmative. Again, it's an order or it's just a recommendation? It's an order. Ah, very good. One of the characteristics of this sentence, look at this one. Does it have a subject? No. No, really. Let's go back to the previous one. Can you see a subject in the sentence? No. No, really, right? Okay. Next sentence, what is this? Do not smoke here. Do not smoke here. I agree. Yes. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me some places where you cannot smoke there? Hospital. Hospital. Airplanes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gas station. Yes, totally. In some restaurants, right? Some restaurants are not, are non-smoking areas. The so, office. at the office, yes. <laughs> and look at this one. What is the grammar tense in this sentence? Is in present, is in future, is in past. Mm, present is in simple present so guys i wanted to be i mean to pay attention in the characteristics that i mentioned simple present no, i don't have a subject mm -hmm. it's an order it's not a recommendation okay what is the order here stand up Stand up. Stand up. Yes. Very good. Stand up. What about this one? Open your books. Letter A, yes. Open your books. And what is the opposite? Do not open your book. I close your books. <laughs> Actually, both, right? So, <laughs> open your books. Again, do I have a subject here? No. No. Is in future? No, it's in no. simple present. Exactly, it's in simple present. Look at this one. What do you think, guys? What is this? Don't take photos here. Don't take photos here. Where can we find this order? Um, in Museum. some... Where? Museums. Museums, yes. Where else? Another place? In the church. Okay, pretty good. Where else? Another place? 
at the bank, for example? Can you take photos at the bank? Mm -hmm. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> but be careful, okay? And you can you can tell us later what happened. <laughs> In the jail. <laughs> In the jail, right. He's going to receive the classes from a special hotel. <laughs> yeah. All right. Without food and beds. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, but you don't have to pay rent. That's yeah. Something positive. That's the only good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't Free have food. to work. <laughs> Free food. Uh huh. Free food. You don't have to work. <laughs> so look at the bright side. <laughs> okay. What is this one? Oh. Well, I think that is the same, right? It's open yeah, your books. Open your yeah. books. Open or your books. if you want to do the opposite, close your books. What is this? Close your books. Can I say close the window? No, because it's not a window. <laughs> no, right? Um, imagine that you are in the exam. What is the order? The order is? Close your books. Close your books. Don't copy. What is this one? Open the window. window. Okay. Yes. And look at this one. Don't shout. Don't shout. And what is the meaning of shout? Uh, speak loud. Very good. In which places can we find this order? At the hospital. At the hospital. Mm -hmm. Where else? At the bank again. At the bank, yes. Library. At the library, definitely. So don't shout. So according, guys, to these sentences, let's review what is the meaning of imperative. Imperatives as we can see in the pictures, are orders, okay? No recommendations, they are not advice, it's not a suggestion like, ah, oh, if you want, <laughs> don't run. No, it's an order, okay? That is one of the characteristics of the imperative. Okay, they are orders. What is the other characteristic of the imperatives? No subject. Very good. Present okay. tense. Ah, excellent. <laughs> so look at these ones, guys. For the imperatives, they are orders. We don't use subject. Why do you think that we don't need a subject? Why? Mm. Yeah. Maybe because, because it applies to anyone applies to anyone I listen to someone what do you say because Maybe. it applies to anyone <laughs> all right <laughs> okay Pamela yes that it's it, you are talking to uh, many people Could because be. you are you are talking in general Okay. Uh, maybe because it's not for a specific people or person. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this case, guys, remember that in this one, we can say that we don't need a subject because it's an order. When you give an order, it's directly for you, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. For example, right now, if I say, um, Turn on the camera. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to oh, you, <laughs> the people that is listening to me. That's why we don't need a subject. Can I say something like, they don't run? Can I say that? They don't run? Mm, not really, right? We don't need a subject. And the other characteristics, as your classmate mentioned, is always in simple present. The orders are for right now. It's not for future. 
Um, imagine you don't enter to the bank and the officer say, um, tomorrow, please, wait, won't run. No, because you are in the bank right now. So that is the other characteristics for the imperatives, okay? They are in simple present. Is it clear? Yes. Yes? Now, we can have imperatives in affirmatives and in negatives. Can you give me imperatives in affirmative? Open the window. Very good. Open the window. That's affirmative imperative. Another example, guys, imperatives in affirmative. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, I have seen some some levels uh, that has writing uh, this message, like uh, no smoking, but I know if, if, uh, if that is not correct, so. Don't smoke or non-smoking? Uh, no, no smoking. Ah, yes, it's correct too. Remember guys that the characteristics here, and I'm going to write it because that's a good example. If I have the auxiliary, remember what happens to the verb? Can I say don't smoke? Don't change. No. Ah, it doesn't change. I need the basic form. Or for example, if I say don't eat in, can I say that? No. Not no. really, right? But in some signs or in some imperatives, they don't use the auxiliary. They say just no, no smoking, no eating. So what they are doing is, they are taking the verb, but because they are using ing, they cannot use the auxiliary. And that's why they can say eh, no smoking. Some people say no speaking, no running, no eating, no drinking. Okay? So if you are using no, normally they will use ing. If you use the auxiliary, you cannot use ing. You have to use the basic form of the verb. Got it? Yes? Got it. Thank you. Yes. You're very welcome. Okay. So is it clear, everybody, what, a imper what an imperative is? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Uh, you put it uh, three rules. Um... No subjects, what is the other rule? Okay, no subject, it's an order, and it's always in simple present. Thank Those you. are the rules, okay? Very good. Any other questions about the imperatives? Okay, so imperatives are very common. Actually, guys, in Spanish, we use imperatives every day. Just imagine when you talk to your husband, to your wife, or to your friends, and you say, hey, um, call me later. Is that an imperative? Yes or no? Yes. Do I have a subject? No. 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 Is in simple present? Yes. <laughs> Is a recommendation? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Maybe we don't say like an order, like very angry, like call me later. No, but is imperative. Imagine that you are at work <laughs> and you say to your classmate, I don't interrupt me. Oops, interrupt me. I'm busy. Is that an imperative? What do you think? Yes. It is. Uh, when you are angry with your friends, what do we say? I. 
don't talk to me. <laughs> is that an imperative? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Imagine, guys, this is so useful that even you can use it to give even some recommendations. Imagine that your friend says, I, I am in a very toxic relationship. I don't know what to do. I break up with him or I break up with her. Is that an imperative? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah. In this case, just look at the characteristic. Do we have a subject? No. 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 People present? Yes. Yes. Yeah. In this case, mm, it is not like an order. We are using it more like for a recommendation. Okay. It'd be like a tip, for example, but even though it's imperative so we can find imperatives everywhere and we use it all the time okay got it yes pretty good all right now that the imperatives is clear we are going to combine the imperatives with the reported speech so how can we report the imperatives that is what we are going to learn today so pay attention to the grammar structure okay we are going to study reported speech but with the imperatives when we report an order or an instruction pay attention to this instruction we use different verbs remember that um, yesterday we practice reported speech, and most of the time we use the verb say, say. right? Mm -hmm. Ah, she said that da 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 da. Ah, the teacher said that da 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 da. Right? But when we are reporting imperatives, we can use different verbs. We can use the verb ask. We can use the verb order, request, or tell, okay? Those are different verbs that you can use. For example, and here I got the ways that we can report it. Imagine that for the one who have kids, imagine that your kid says, give me the money, please. <laughs> or imagine that you are in the bank and there is a thief and the thief says, give me the money. Is that an imperative? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Totally. So what is going to be the reported speech? We can say, he told me. Now, in this case, we don't use the word that, okay? Let's omit the word that. If the sentence is in affirmative, we are going to use the verb in infinitive. He told me to give him the money. In this case, guys, when we are reporting imperatives, we don't change the verbs in past. So in this scenario, the reported speech is easier. You just need to add the preposition to. Give me the money. Ah, he told me to give him the money. Another example, always in affirmative. Imagine, guys, that I say, um, okay, send an audio. Oops. Okay, guys, send an audio. Hmm. What will be the reported speech? She, which verb can we use? 
You can use all of these ones. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yes. She asked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else? Mm, she asked. Uh huh. Send. Send an audio. Exactly. To send an audio. Now, in this case, because we are a class, we can even say instead of me, we can say us. She asked us to all of us, to all the class, okay, to send the audio. It's not necessary, guys, to change the verb into simple past. Is it clear so far? Yes. Everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah? All right. But what happens if the sentence is in negative? What do I need to do? Imagine this one. Don't answer the door while I'm away. If the sentence is in negative, what do I need to do? He asked me, and then look, I just need to do this one. I need to add the word not, and again, I need the verb in infinitive. Do I need an auxiliary? What do you think? Maybe not. Not really. We just need to add the word not. He asked me not to answer the door. Another example. Imagine that we are in the exam and I say, everybody, don't copy, okay? Don't cheat. So what did she say or what did she ask? She asked. Us she asks us uh -huh. not, not to, to copy. copy. That is the one. Look, not to copy. It's pretty simple. You just need to add the word not and then the verb in infinitive. Got it, everyone? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, it's clear. Are you sure? Ready for an exam? Ready. <laughs> Only once is ready. That is the the the, uh, the attitude. Pretty good. And the rest it's of okay. you? It's okay, but it gets confused because we used to use the, the auxiliary. Exactly. So that's why, guys, you have to be very careful. You have to recognize what type of sentence you have. Is that an imperative? Or is that a simple question? Because imagine in this case that instead of I uh, give me the money, imagine that I have a subject. So it's, it's going to change. So you have to be careful. Identify what type of sentence you have, okay? Let's have a practice so this topic can be a little bit more uh, or understandable, okay? Look at this one. I'm going to share with you some other examples. When we report an imperative sentence or a request, we usually use infinitive. That is something that you don't have to forget, guys. We don't change the verb into simple past. Now we use infinitive. For example, imagine that there is a mother and the mother says, put away your toys, Johnny, okay? So Johnny's mother told him, look, I just need the verb, but in infinitive. What did she say? Ah, the mother told him to put away his toys. Something important, guys. Do I need to change the pronoun? Yes or no? Yes. If it is necessary, yes. Next, 
Imagine here I said, everybody, uh, please stand up. What did the teacher ask? Ah, the teacher asked the class, look, to stand up. Now let's change the sentence. Imagine that instead of stand up, I say, please don't stand up. What is going to be the reported speech? The teacher asked not ask the class not to stand up. That is the one. Look, not to stand up. Simple as that. Don't forget that you always need infinitive verbs. Okay? Got it? 50-50, a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's have, let's have some exercises. I will share with you guys some sentences and you have to identify what the correct imperative is. Look, uh, look, in this case, guys, if you go to your manuals, you will find this information is in the page 16. Remember, guys, here you can find some other um, examples. So if you want to read the manual, do it. OK, now there is something important here. Please, everybody, can you read this part? Some specific verbs are required to change an imperative sentence into reported speech. By example, request, order, advise, to guest instead of the reporting verb said and told. Thank you. So remember, when we are reporting imperatives, not all the time we are going to use said or told depending on the intention of the speaker we can change the verb okay for example imagine that you are talking to your friend let's go back to the previous example that i gave uh, your classmate or your friend is in a toxic relationship and you say i break up with her or break up with him. What do you think? What will be the best verb? Ah, he, uh huh. What do you think? He requested, he ordered me, he recommended, he suggested. Mm -hmm. So we can say, ah, he suggested me, uh huh. To break up with him. Okay. To break look. up with him. Exactly. With him. We always use the verbs in infinitive. To break up with him or with her. So we can change the verb. Imagine that it's raining and your mother say, um, Take the umbrella with you. Advice. Ah, so what would be the best verb? Advice. So we can say, ah, Recommend. she. All right, yes. So we can say she advised me or she recommended me to take the umbrella. Okay, that is going to depend on the intention of the speaker. Imagine that you are in your job with your boss and your boss says, don't come late again. <laughs> so what do you think? What is the best verb? Advice. <laughs> Just advice. <laughs> Advice? Are you sure? Yes, of course. <laughs> A suggestion. I, I really know my boss. <laughs> A suggestion. Okay. <laughs> so in this, this sounds more like an order. So you can say, um, my boss ordered me <laughs> in a friendly way, right? <laughs> <laughs> so my boss ordered me. Uh huh. What is the complete sentence? In negative, 
not to come to late. not to come late again to not or do not uh, uh, can you repeat to not mm. can we say to not not to not to ah. not. <laughs> Remember, first oh. is the word not and then the verb in infinitive. Not, not to, to come, come late. late again. That's the one. So what I wanted to understand, guys, is we use imperatives all the time in different situations. And depending on the intention of the speaker, that is the verb that you can use. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Pretty good. Any questions so far, everybody? No questions? No. Okay, if you don't have questions, I do have questions. Look at the next sentences, guys, and tell me what's the correct reported speech. But let me open up the exercise. Imagine that these are imperatives that your teacher told you, okay? So for example, the first one says, close the door. So the teacher told us, what is the correct one? Closed or no. to close the door? To close the door. To, to close. close. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, that's the one. Okay, I will be asking individually. I want to see that everybody paid attention. So please, only the ones that I ask, only that person answers. Let's see. Ah, but I have a lot of listeners, my goodness. Okay, <laughs> let me ask to Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Hello, teacher. Okay, the teacher told us, be quiet. <laughs> so what is the imperative? Um, uh, to to be quiet. Okay, the teacher told us to be quiet. Are you sure? I don't know. Yes, <laughs> yes I think. <laughs> so yes. remember, guys, if I ask you, are you sure? It's because I wanted to feel confident about your answers. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Excellent. Okay, next one. Let me ask. Yeah, I, I want to do this exercise. Excellent. That's the attitude. Um, maybe is not to make. Not to make. Not noise to make there. noise there. Are you sure? Noise there. Yeah. So not to make or yes. to not make? Not to make noise and there. And that is the correct one. Excellent job. So you can say, ah, the teacher told us not to make noise there. Very good job. Very good job. It's funny because I learned this um, position uh, for the um, error. Mistake? Mistake of caring in <laughs> no excuse me excuse me and I learned this order. That's good. So you see, guys, we can help each other. Yeah. So just don't forget. And now I expect that Kevin don't make that mistake again, please. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. But okay. it, it help help me, teacher. All right, very good. That's intentional. Ah, <laughs> so guys, you see, it was intentional. She, he just wanted to help you, okay? <laughs> I like that. Okay, next one. Let me ask to who's there? Carlos Mauricio. Carlos Mauricio, do no. your work in pairs. Uh huh. No. What did the teacher say, or what did the teacher? asked um to do to do our work in pairs remember do i need to change the verb in past everyone no no, no right in this case i just need infinitive next one lorena open your books 
Mm, maybe uh, to open. To open, that is the one. So the teacher asked to open our books. So look at this ones, guys. We can change the pronouns, okay? Next one, um, Edwin, can you tell me the next one? The teacher said, don't talk to each other. What did she say? Or what did she order? Edwin, are you there? Me, teacher. Yes. Not to Go. talk. Not to ah, talk. To very each other. good. Not to talk to each other. Very good job. Volunteer, come here. To come here. To come. Very good. To come or to. Well, in this case, we can say to go. Because remember that come is in the place, right? Mm -hmm. But you can say both, actually. Then I need, guys, a volunteer for the next one. But please give me the full sentence. The teacher order or the teacher asked. Okay? Don't run me. in the corridor. Uh -huh. Go ahead. The teacher asked not to run in the corridor <laughs> not to run that is the one uh -huh. the next one volunteer a typical phrase say it in english <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. volunteer to say ah very good so the teacher mm -hmm. what is the complete sentence teacher to say it in English. Okay, the teacher asked us to say it in English. The last one, don't go to the playground. What is the order here? The teacher said us not to go to the playground. Ah, not to go or to not go? Not to go. That is the one. Very good job. So if you see, this is the way that we can uh, report these imperatives. Remember that basically, guys, for the imperatives, we just have two options. Is in affirmative or in negative. If it is in affirmative, you just need infinitive verbs. If it is in negative, easy. You just need to add the word not and then again the verbs in infinitive got it got it any questions so far everyone okay easy now you're ready for the exam right yes only one says yes thank you oh my gosh and the rest of you Give me the exam teacher. Aha, uh -huh, that's the attitude. Very good, very good. Okay, now guys, we are going to combine the topics because that's the idea. I explained the topics separately, but now we need to join this. Let's join imperatives, reported speech, and giving tips, okay? <laughs> That's what we are going to do. I'm going to share with you guys some situations and I want you to give me some tips, okay? You can say it in affirmatives or in negative. For example, imagine that I want to learn a new language. Mm, what are some tips that you can give me? For example, imagine I, I want to learn Italian. Mm, do you have some tips for me? Practice the vocabulary. Very good. Okay. Practice the vocabulary. Okay. Reported the speech. What did he say? He. What is the best verb that I can use here? Can I say he ordered me? Recommend. Yes. Uh, recommend. Uh, he recommended me or he. 
advised me, he suggested me. So remember that you can use different verbs, all right? So he recommended me uh -huh. to practice the vocabulary. Very good, to practice the vocabulary. Now, look at this, guys. We have imperatives, we are giving tips, and we are reporting those tips. Another tip, if I want to learn a new language, you can use it in affirmative or negative. What do you think? Mm. Watch movies. Mm. Watch movies? In the language that you want to learn. Okay, imagine that I want to learn Italian. So watch, watch movies. Watch Italian movies. Ah, okay. Watch Italian movies. Uh huh, guys. What did she say? She recommend to watch us. Italian. <laughs> mm -hmm. to watch Italian movies. Very good. Any recommendation in negative? Don't, Maybe don't, don't, don't forget practice every day. Okay, <laughs> don't speak Spanish. I heard that one. Okay, but <laughs> I like the one that Anna says. Don't forget to practice the vocabulary. You say right every day. Oh, every day to practice every day. Aha, uh -huh, guys, what did she say? Let's try to use another verb instead of recommend it. He suggested. He suggests us. Okay. Remember that the verb is in past. Okay. She suggested <laughs> me or she suggested us. Uh huh. Not, not to forget to practice every day. Ah, very good. Not to forget. Oops to practice every day. Pretty good job. Easy or difficult? Uh, what do you I, think? I have a question, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. If we, if we can, if we want to do the sentence in present, for example, él está recomendándome, uh, we can do this, this sentence. Oh, he, yeah. is he is recommending me. Yeah. We can do this, this sentence. Without okay. problem. Yes, okay. totally, guys. In this case, remember that we normally use suggested because it's in past, right? It's something that the person already said. But if the person is continuously giving you that tip, you can change it, of course. And you can say, ah, she is suggesting me not to forget to practice every day. Or even you can say it in simple present. Just don't forget that it's third person. So you can say, for example, she, she suggests. suggests, right? Or she says, or she tells me. The verb, you can change the grammar tense. That's no problem at all. Okay? Got it, everyone? I got it, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Okay, let's see. Okay, guys, imagine that I want to say money. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a misspelling here. It's save. Mm, want no, to save. Save. <laughs> save money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, but it's save. So, guys, I want to save money because I want to buy a new car but I don't know how to do it give me some tips how can I save money mm. maybe don't buy unnecessary things ah sounds good don't buy unless oops unnecessary things what did she say, guys? Or what did she suggest? She su suggest, uh, suggested us 
to not do buy unnecessary things. That's the one. Another tip, if I want to save money. Mm, open a saves account. Sounds good. Uh, hi, everybody. What did Kevin say? Please suggest us uh -huh. um, to, to open to an open. account. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Another tip if I want to save money? Eat in your home. Ah, okay. That's a good <laughs> tip. Eat at home. So what did she say, guys? Mm, I hear humble. <laughs> uh -huh. She she recommend us uh -huh. to eat in home. home. Very good. Home. You can say at home to eat at home. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Okay, next. Um, another scenario, and I will be asking individually because I listen to some people are not participating. Okay, imagine, guys, that I want to lose weight. Do you know what weight is? Yeah. Yes, some pounds, extra pounds. Okay, let me ask individually. Um, Salvador. Hello, Salvador. Hello, teacher. Okay, Salvador, I want to lose weight. Any tip? Do exercise ah, every day. Very good. Do exercise every day. Um, Elias, what did he say? Elias, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Carlos Mauricio, what did he say? Um, he recommends us uh, to do exercise. Every day. Pretty good. Every day. Sounds good. Andrea, I want to lose weight. Do you have any tip? Yes, be on a diet. Be on a diet? Mm -hmm. um, Edwin, what did you say? Edwin, are you there? Okay. Yes, uh-huh. Go ahead. Be on a diet. What did she say? I'm sorry, I can hear you. So good. All right. Uh the sentence is be on a diet. What is a reported speech? She she used to be on a diet. Mm, but what she... is the verb? She, she, she suggested me or she said. Uh huh. She said was on a diet. Mm, was on a diet. Do I need to change the verb into simple past? What do you think, everyone? No, no, it's not necessary. Not really, right? Remember, these are imperatives. So what will be the reported speech here? Help him. She said me to be on a diet. Ah, she said, remember, when we use the verb said, we need to add the preposition to. She said to me to be on a diet. Or she told me to be on a diet. She suggested me, she advised me to be on a diet. Be careful. In this case, we don't change the verb. Now, can you give me um, a tip in negative if I want to lose uh, weight? Don't eat fast food. <laughs> don't eat fast food. Let's see. Ana Lorena, what did he say? I don't listen, teacher. Okay. Uh, repeat, Kevin. Don't eat fast food. Okay. 
Um, he suggests us uh, not eat fast food. Not eat? Not to eat. Ah, that is the one. Excellent. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Imagine that I suffer insomnia and I cannot sleep well at night. So, guys, do you have some tips? I want to sleep well at night. Mm -hmm. Don't Take drink a shower. coffee at night. All right. All right. I'm listening to people. The first one is take a shower. Take a shower. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Josman Atilio, what did he say? Josman, are you there? Hmm, I think some people are not there anymore. Um, Oscar Alexis, are you there? Here, teacher. Okay, so take a shower. What did he what did he recommend to me? He recommend you to take a shower. That's the one, very good. I listened to someone else in negative. Please. Can you repeat? Mm -hmm. uh, don't drink coffee at night. Don't drink coffee at night. Okay, Pamela, tell me, report the speech. What did he say? He suggested um, to no, he suggested not to drink coffee at night. Perfect. Excellent. Very good job. Any other tip if I want to sleep well at night? Sleep early. Sleep early. Okay. Uh, Sifrido, what did he say? Sifrido, are you there? Sorry, it wasn't me. Um... He has uh, to sleep early. Okay, yes, as simple as that. All right, so um, imagine, guys, that I want to stay healthy. I want to be a very healthy person. Any suggestion? Do exercise every day. <laughs> Do exercise every day. Wilbur, what did he say? He said, she said you uh, to do exercise every day. All right. He said or he suggested, right, to do exercise every day. Another suggestion, another tip? Take some vitamins. Take some vitamins. What did he say? Oh, sorry, what did she say? He said us to take vitamins. That's good. Now, tips in negative. I want to stay healthy. Don't sleep late. <laughs> Very good. What did she say? He uh, suggests she, she recommend not to sleep late. Not to sleep late. Pretty good. So if you see, guys, we are giving tips. Okay. We are using imperatives. And we are using reported speech. So far, so good. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. yes. Any questions so far? So far, so good. All right. Questions? Yeah. No questions? Are you sure? Okay, pretty good. Now, before continue, guys, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Amanda Zamora, well, she's listener. It's okay. Present. No? Yes, thank you. Ana Lorena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present, teacher. Sure. Excellent, very good. Carlos Ernesto. Boris Alexander, present teacher. Okay. It's okay. Thank you, Boris. Very good. Um, okay, Carlos Ernesto, I think that's his listener too. Um, Carlos Mauricio. Present. Thank you. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres, well, his listener. 
Um, Irma Evelyn. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador. Present teacher. Thank you. Osman Atilio. Osman. He sent a message that Perfect. have problem. Oh, okay. It's okay. Okay, thank you. But I can see, yes, he's there. Thank you. Thank you for telling me, guys. Um, Kevin Alexander? Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo? Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Jose? Nelson Alberto? Oscar Alexis? Here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Osman Enrique? Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Rafael Alexander. Okay, his listener, I think. Ricardo Ernesto. Listener. Okay, thank you. Sifrido Ernesto. Present teacher. Wilber Alberto. Present, present. And Andrea Jamilet. Present teacher. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Now, guys, we are going to have speaking practice as always, and we are going to do it in teams. Okay. Uh, because we are talking about to have a successful business. Now, imagine, guys, we already give some examples. I already gave you some scenarios, but now let's imagine that. I want to have a successful online business. So what tips do you have for me? I want you guys to think about some tips to have a successful online business. And I want you to work in groups and let's prepare some tips. We are going to do it right now in groups. So the idea is, you have to give me different tips using imperatives. You can use affirmatives or negatives, okay? And your classmate has to report what you say. For example, imagine that Lorena say, okay, guys, one tip if you want to have a successful business is save money, for example. In the group, imagine that Pamela is in her group. Pamela will say, ah, okay, she said or she suggested me to, and you continue with the recommendation. Is it clear, the idea? Yes. Everybody, is it clear what you have to do? Clear. Okay, please try to give interesting tips Okay, try to invent if you don't know exactly what kind of tips, but try to invent. Me just create the groups. Give me, I have a lot of listeners. So, uh, to the listeners, I'm not going to include you guys to the breakup rooms, but to the other, I will. Give me a second. You will be working in groups. Let's see, give me a second. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. If you are in a group where your classmates are not talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team, please. Okay? Pretty good. Okay, everybody? Let's go to work. What up? Estamos aquí y la abadía está aquí. Estoy distancia de casi 400 lenguas de sol. 
we have to give some tips for um for have a good um online business or a new online business so what are what are some tips do you have maybe uh, i i will i would suggest uh, in you may uh, offer some service if your business is about of service services no you may offer uh, in the beginning may might be you not have the enough profitable but a uh, you may have a more uh, consumers to offer the services you say yes yes offer services in the beginning you you may you may not have enough profitable but it may be work between uh tips for um business for have successfully business i think online I, business yeah online business business i think um okay. i i share the first um tip is build trust to your customers uh feel build build with B. Bill. Bill. Yes, Bill. Uh, how do you spell it? B U I. Oh, Bill. E Construir la. Yes. Okay, Bill. I don't know what is the pronunciation. Bill. Trust. Trust with your customers. Trust. To your customers. To your customers. Okay. And I'm going to do the sentence and with about the reporter speech. Okay. And I'm well is he uh, re recommend us to, to to build build trust to our customers yes okay my my opinion my tip excuse me is take a good photos for the publicity well, or promotion. Can Take you repeat it, please? Photo. Kevin, can you repeat it? I, I, I can understand. <laughs> Take a good photos. Oh. For the publicity. Good photos. Photos for the publicity. Okay. For the publicity. Open a new idea of business. No. Ah, is the tip of the Jose? Open a new idea of business. Business. This business. Yeah. Okay. Suggest us. He suggest suggest to open, right? To he open suggests to open a new idea of business. Um, is he suggest us to open or he to suggest open. to open? He's, he suggests us to us, okay. Yeah, you can use the, the, the you can use us or me. 
it, okay. it depends of what you want to, to say. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, he suggests. I know it is right. Good, but you tell me. I put some the first recommendation in the chat, and okay. I read the second one. And the last one, my tip. I think it's okay, right? Uh, if I have to change something, please, please tell me, and I will do it. Uh, I think this first one recommended. I think recommended us or recommends, not recommend. For example, Carlos recommended recommended right. Mm -hmm. I yeah. need to add ed at the end, right? Yes, ed. Ed, right? Yeah. So uh, let me write it again. Recommended. Edwin recommended recommended us to clean our room. Andrea suggested. Uh -huh. Andrea suggested me to do my homework. Okay. Right there. Yeah, and Carlos recommended uh, doing exercise every day. Mm -hmm. No, doing no is to do. What to do exercise every day is going to help me to have a successful business, online business? Um, tips about? Okay. Remember, I want Sorry, to provide teacher. tips. <laughs> it's okay. I wanted to provide tips about a successful online business. Imagine that I have an online, an online business and I want you guys to give me suggestions. So what do I need to do if I want to have a successful online business? What do you think? Okay. Um, um provide a lot of at social media. Oh, okay, one at a time. Andrea, can you repeat? Okay, publicity. I don't know. Okay. Publicity. Okay, but give or, me the full sentence in imperative. Okay, pay uh, to pay publicity pay for, social, in uh -huh. social media. Very good. So pay for publicity. Uh -huh. Pay for publicity, sorry. Uh -huh. on, on social media. On social media. So what is what did she suggest, guys? Uh-huh, reported the speech. She... Can you repeat the tips, please? Uh, pay for publicity on social media. So when you are on Facebook and mm -hmm. some, some online store appears in your feed. Mm -hmm. So pay, pay for publicity so she suggested mm -hmm. to pay for um, publicity um, I think right there she is... suggested us to pay for publicity it looks good just remember that paid is in simple past you need to say the um, verb in infinitive Yes, P A Y. That is the one. So good, excellent. Another suggestion, guys, to have a business, a very successful online business. Um, provide a large number of products. Okay. Uh huh. What did he say, guys? Uh, he. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He said to. Provide. Provide. No, to provide several products. products. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Excellent. And remember, we can change the verb. We can use suggest, recommend, said, tell. Okay. 
pretty good. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. Okay? So let's okay. go back. Bye. Time's up. Time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. All right, some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Did you listen to good tips, everyone? What do you think? Yes, a little bit. Yes, good tips. Good tips? Yeah. Okay, very good. Full English or did you listen to Spanish? No, 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 full English. Full English? Excellent. Um, did your classmate use correctly the reported speech? Yes. Oh. We try. We we help us each other. That's the attitude, exactly. And that is what we need to do, everyone. We need to help each other. We are a team. So we have one minute. Wilbur, tell me a tip to have a successful online business. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember if it was uh, Cifrido or Pamela. Uh, one of them told us a uh, we we can create a a good app for our website create a, okay everybody create a good app so what did he recommend he recommend uh, us recommend us uh, to create a good website good nice Excellent, guys. Unfortunately, we don't have more time, but don't worry because tomorrow we will continue practicing. But do you have any questions so far, guys, about this topic before leaving? No questions? No, the child. Thank you. All right. Now, before leaving, uh, the winner for tonight is Carlos Dominguez. So, Carlos, you have to stay. The rest of you are free to go. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye. See you. bye. Take mm -hmm. care. Goodbye. Only Carlos stays, please. Carlos Dominguez. The rest of you, you are free to go. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. See you. All right, hello, Carlos. Are you there? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. All right, remember that this meeting is just to clarify some questions. So do you have any questions so far about the class, about the program, or about the platform? Uh, uh, no, teacher. Uh, uh, I, I not. I know attend uh, uh, the the Friday the 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 before the week. Uh huh. And I have I have a, a problem with my son. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is your son okay? Yes, uh, because the chair is uh, uh, my son uh, visit uh, at my home. Ah. Uh, uh, in, in vacation the school then the the usa uh -huh. uh, uh, it is the reason to no attend and, and the the class ah okay you were enjoying the presence of your son it's acceptable very okay. good okay well in this case carlos um little details that i wanted to talk to you uh, i can see that you haven't started the platform i can see no progress at all so what happened uh yes teacher uh, i i i little problem uh, because 
uh, my cell phone is a uh, uh, the Monday and the broken. Oh my gosh! Yes, and in my laptop and uh, uh, I use and in, in my job. Ah, okay, okay. And so because uh, by by translate or uh, the tomorrow. Uh, ingress uh, uh, at the platform okay yeah try to do it please because remember that basically we already finished the week number one so it's necessary to share a progress on the platform i don't want you to have some issues with that okay okay teacher try to advance um another details carlos sometimes um well you already explained the what happens last week but I need you to try to speak a little bit more in the class, right? I want you to participate a little bit more to be more active in the class because sometimes I don't listen to you to talk a lot and I want you to everybody speak, all right? Okay, teacher. Yes, try to do it. So in the next classes, if you don't participate, I will be saying your name, okay? Okay, okay, perfect. Very good. Now, I don't know if you have any comments or any questions about the class. Uh, no, teacher, is uh, uh, my comments and uh, your person is very good. Uh, I, uh, it's very important uh, uh, to practice speaking English every day uh, and, and attend the, the, the classroom. Definitely. So remember, the more that you practice, the more that you are going to progress, the more that you are going to learn. All right. All right. teacher. Excellent. So I expect that tomorrow and the next days, I want to listen to your voice. All right. Okay. Thanks. Teacher. <laughs> You're very welcome. Okay. If you don't have any other questions, those are the feedbacks that I have for you. So keep it in mind. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you, Carlos, for your time. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye.